So you're thinking about moving to Green Cove Springs, Florida, and you'd really like to have new construction. You'd like to be on at least a 50 foot lot, maybe a 60 foot lot, uh, maybe three bedroom, two bath home, or maybe as large as a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom home. Well, if you're interested in any of those, I certainly have you covered. Uh, today we're in Highland Trail. It's a fantastic new community by Pulte Homes. Um, there's two builders in here. Of course, I'm covering Pulte today. Uh, I'm very grateful that they let me show their model homes as well as their quick move-in homes. Um, to give you an idea geographically, uh, Green Cove Springs, I've got a playlist on Green Cove Springs as well as map videos, but it's in Clay County. It's just across the river from St. John's County. Uh, they're going to be building a brand new uh, bridge going across from Clay over to St. John's in a few years. That's going to be a high-speed, high-span bridge. Uh, we're about three minutes from the First Coast Connector, which is a high-speed toll road, which connects all the way from I-10 up on the north and west of Jacksonville. It drops south through Duval County, Clay County, and then it's gonna wrap around and drop across on that new bridge that I'm telling you about, and it will connect Clay County to St. John's County. Um, I think Green Cove Springs is very up and coming. I think there's a lot of equity baked into this area. So if you bought now and held for a little while, I think you would quite possibly reap the benefits of that. Um, they do have some good, great schools in Clay County as well, not too far from here. Um, we are, for you military folks or retired military working again, um, we are not too far from Cecil Field, which has employers uh, Pratt & Whitney, uh, Northrop Grumman, um, Boeing, uh, also uh, Customs and Border Patrol is up there. That's only 30 minutes from here. And then Naval Air Station Jacksonville, everybody of course knows who that is. Uh, that's about 30 minutes from here. Well, I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of this beautiful classic series. And those are on 50 foot lots. And then I'm also gonna take you on a walkthrough of two um, estate series homes, which of course will be larger than this one and a little bit more money. You're going to want to stick around because we're getting after it right now. Discover Highland Trail, a new Pulte Homes community in Green Cove Springs, Florida featuring resort style amenities, including a sparkling pool, splash pad, fitness center, pickleball courts, a clubhouse, walking trails, and even a dog park. It's the perfect place to enjoy an active, relaxing lifestyle with thoughtfully designed homes and a family friendly atmosphere. Highland Trail is the ideal spot to build your dream home in beautiful Green Cove Springs. All right, let's get started on our walkthrough of this Medina plan. This is part of their classic series. It's gonna be on a 50 foot lot. It's four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two car garage, 2,142 square feet. And they have those available for in the low 400,000s right now. Let's start our walkthrough, let's go. All right, this is offices currently, but this would be your two-car garage. You have this very nice front porch with plenty of room for sitting here to enjoy your mornings or evenings. Nice overhang here. Generous front porch area. Of course, all your packages and plants will stay nice and dry. You have an eight foot door opening with nine foot ceilings. All right, going to our left, this will be bedroom number one. And this one is en suite. With a tub shower combination. That will be your entrance in from your garage. This will be your laundry room. Again, look how nice and wide these hallways are. Making a turn to our right. This will be bedroom number two. Look 
look how large these windows are. Very nice sills in front. Nice closet space here with the sliding doors. This will be your second full bathroom here. I'm not going to show you that because they have it set up as a powder room because this is a model home and the uh, government required that they have it set up that way <laughs> to have it as a model. Local government. So this is bedroom number three. Another closet. Here we have this really large open floor plan. Got a nice lounging area set up here. Look at all the space. Here's your back patio. Very nice sized backyard. Of course, you could screen this in as well if you wanted to. Love the light fixture. They have these beautiful dove gray cabinets. Beautiful pendant lights. Nice stone. Island kitchen here, whirlpool stainless steel appliances, tile backsplash, you got a glass cooktop here with a fully vented range hood, nice set of wall ovens here, got a deep sink, there's your pantry. Got a few snacks in there already. And we're gonna go to the primary bedroom now. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at the window treatments. Love this accent wall. This is a king size bed with nightstands so you get an idea of the scale. Here we are in the primary bathroom. You have dual vanities here. This will be your walk in shower. Tile all the way up to the ceiling. Nice transom window there with a rain shower head. East wall and a bench seat. Water closet over here and a large walk in primary closet. All right, now I'm gonna show you this beautiful Yorkshire plan. It's part of the estate series by Pulte Homes here in Highland Trail. I uh, wanted to say that this one is going for $610,990. This is a quick move in. This will be on a 60 foot lot. There's plenty of room in the backyard for a pool. Of course, you got a three car garage. This one is a two story. Um, if you don't want a two-story and you still want the three-car garage, I have other options for you. There's another plan that I can show you very quickly called the Ashby, and that is uh, also available as a quick move-in. Now with the class, with the estate series, uh, if you don't want to opt for a quick move-in, and with a quick move-in, everything's already been picked out for you. So that's why uh, they offer you a lot of incentives on those when they're ready to go. And um, if you wanted to do a ground up build, you can certainly do that as well. And that's where you go you know, to the design center and pick out everything yourself, including the lot and which plan you want on the lot. So I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of this five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 3,459 square foot home 
right now. Let's go. All right, so you can have this really super wide driveway going in. You're going to have, uh, you know, the hardy board, hardy lap siding all the way around this one. Very nice aluminum garage doors. And this one is a craftsman style. They will have different elevations that you can choose from. Have this really nice overhang here. And this home's about two months out from being complete. So I know you're used to me showing you model homes. I like to show you quick movements as well. So you can see, you know, what you see is what you get. So let's go. All right, you have eight foot door openings here. And we are inside. Taking a turn to the left. This will be your first bedroom. And this one is en suite. Have a closet here to your left. Making a turn to the right. This will be the entrance out to your uh, two car and three car garages. This is a flex room and it's got double doors. And I'm sure that you could have those uh, as glass panel doors as well. To give you some idea of the dimensions of this room, what you think could fit in here. Now we are continuing. This is under the stairs storage. Again, you got these really high ceilings inside. Huge open living area here. This will be a powder room right here. Looking at the back of the home, you've got a huge backyard, certainly large enough for a swimming pool. And you've got this covered lanai area, which you could also screen in if you wanted to. So you have three panel doors access back from this side. And then you've got sliding glass doors also access from this side. So we are in what I think most people would use as a uh, nook or eat-in kitchen area, dining area. And they have not put in all the appliances here in the kitchen but this will have uh, wall ovens, refrigerator, washer, <laughs> not washer, dishwasher, um, you know, everything. Glass cooktop. Beautiful stone counters, undermount seat, deep sink. And I'm gonna take you upstairs now. Let's go upstairs, check that out. So you got hardwood railings and you have cast iron spindles continuing. All right, we are going to make a turn to the left, go up the hallway here. And this will be bedroom number two, which also has a walk-in closet. This will be your second full bathroom, which has a tub shower combination. This will be your laundry room. And they put a laundry sink here. Washer and dryer will go over here. You have your cabinets, of course. Closet over here. Here we are in the third full bedroom, looking out at the front of the home. And this one is en suite. So there's your third full bathroom. This is bedroom number four.
This is a huge loft area. So you could set this up for home theater, relaxation, however you want to set it up. It's your house, do your thing. Have the air handler upstairs here. And then this will be the primary bedroom. Certainly large enough that you could have a king size bed with nightstands in here. This will be your walk in closet. linen closet and this will be the primary bathroom with dual sinks here and a large walk-in shower with a rain shower head and a bench seat and there is your water closet. Okay, now I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of another option for you here in the Estate Series. Again, this will be on a 60-foot lot. This is called the Ashby. It's four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, 2,237 square feet. And the price on this one, quick move in, $581,291. Let's take a look at this one right now. All right, so here's your incredible three-car garage. I like starting out with the garages sometimes. Change things up a little bit, right? Okay, here we are on the front porch. Eight foot door openings again. Looks like you got nine foot ceilings in here. Making a turn to the left will be bedroom number one. Here's your first full bathroom with a frameless shower. And a linen closet. Look how wide these hallways are. All right, coming forward. We are in the huge open living area, main family room. You have a double tray ceiling, so it steps up in there two times. So you're going up to, it looks like, about 11 feet all the way up there. We're gonna make a turn to the left. This will be the primary bedroom. And they've got crown molding in here. Tile in the bathrooms, of course. Dual vanities. Large walk-in shower. For the rain shower head and tile all the way up to the ceilings. Niched wall, nice bench. Linen closet, water closet. And then you have this very large and generous primary closet. Looking back onto your back patio, of course the roof line overhangs and this is all able to be uh, screened in if you like. 
back pad backyard is large enough for a pool if you wanted to install a pool and then these four panels they open all the way up and they stash away into this wall so if, if you can envision this all the way open that can be done without a problem All right, coming across. We have bedroom number three. This will be your third, second full bathroom. Actually, this is the third full bathroom, sorry. And this is your fourth bedroom. All right, let's check out the kitchen, see what that looks like. Let's go. All right, you've got this huge island here. How many people did you th do you think you could seat here? Quite a few. Wall ovens here. All stainless steel appliances. Tiled backsplash. Fully vented range hood there. There's your pantry. Think you could store enough food in there. And here's your laundry room as well. And there's your air handler. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of this new construction community, Highland Trail by Pulte Homes here in Green Cove Springs, Florida in Clay County. Remember, we are just across the St. Johns River from St. Johns County, uh, very close by. Uh, we're not too far from Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Cecil Field. It's a beautiful area, a riverside area, very nice. Um, if you have any interest in quick move-in homes or ground-up builds, I can help you with both of those. You definitely have those options in uh, the Classic Series as well as the Estate Series, Classics on 50-foot lots, Estate Series on 60-foot lots. Reach out to me. We're going to put my phone number and my email up on the screen. Reach out to me. I'll be the one that reaches back out to you. And remember, whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, I'm always happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. And until next time, I hope to see you around Jacks.